REC, Silfab, or Q-Cells. Who makes the best solar panels for your home in 2025? I'm gonna be answering that question and introducing you to my top five recommended solar brands in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're coming to you with an updated top five best solar panels, this time for 2025. Now folks, this is a video that we make at least once, usually twice per year. And since we just got back from RE+, which is our large solar conference, our, the largest solar conference here in the United States, we wanted to get an updated version of our top five best solar panels for 2025. Now, I should say that the solar panels that we're gonna be talking about in today's video are solar panels intended for residential rooftop installation. So I know some of you will say, well, hey, Joe, there's bigger panels out there, 600 watts, 650 watt, and that's true. But the panels that we're gonna be reviewing in today's video are ones that are likely going to be used for a typical home a residential rooftop installation. And with that, let's get to the lineup. All right, coming in at number five is the Pimar 450 watt all black mono perk panel. Now, Pimar is an Italian brand and you're gonna see this brand in circulation from time to time uh, in the United States. In fact, I, I can remember using Pimar panels back as much as 10 to 12 years ago. Uh, you'll find them in distribution with a lot of the direct to consumer distributors like Unbound Solar and Signature Solar. Uh, and I believe Cranic Solar carries this brand as well. Now, when I think Pimar, I, I'm, I'm just thinking value here. As of this recording, you can buy these direct to consumer for about 36 cents a watt. And if you're looking for a good, reliable, solar panel that's gonna give you a good return on investment and a very competitive price per watt, it's hard to go wrong with the Pimar solar panel. Uh, again, I've used this brand going back at least 10 plus years, uh, and especially if you're doing a self-directed solar project and you're looking for a good value panel, uh, I, I highly recommend the Pimar brand. And I should mention this panel uses the 120 half cut cell design or what we used to maybe call the, the 60 cell form factor. So these are gonna be on the smaller end of the size spectrum, which will be helpful in terms of managing them up and down the ladder for a rooftop installation. So this is the Pimar 450. All right, coming in at number four is the Aptos 460 watt bifacial solar module. So when we talk about a bifacial solar module, basically you, you have active solar cells both on the front of the module and on the rear of the module. So if you install these solar panels, let's say on a ground mount system where you're, you're likely to get some sun reflecting off the ground, you can actually capture more energy by absorbing sunlight through the back of the panel. Uh, and that additional power is known as bifacial gain. But just with the front facing modules, you've got a power rating of 460 watts. Uh, like the Pimar panel, you've got that nice all black on black aesthetic, which is pretty much what all homeowners prefer at this point. But with the Aptos panel, you're gonna get slightly lower degradation rate and slightly better temperature coefficient. Now, when we talk about degradation rate, what we mean is, you know, as solar panels age, they lose a certain percentage of their performance over time as the solar cells age. And so the lower the degradation rate, the more that that solar module is going to retain its power producing capability over time. So we want the degradation rate to be as low as possible. And as you can see here, compared to a standard solar panel, the Aptos panel degrades at a lower rate, meaning that at the end of its warranty period, which in this case is 30 years, you're still gonna be guaranteed to have at least 82.4% of your initial rated power. Now, Aptos is gonna be slightly higher on the price spectrum. Uh, when we checked recently, you can find them for about 39 cents per watt online if you're talking to a direct-to-consumer distributor. Uh, and overall, I think you're gonna find Aptos very, very good value. The other thing with Aptos is their structural integrity is second to none. So if you live in an area like Florida or Puerto Rico where you're prone to having hurricanes, and you want a solar panel with a very sturdy and a very high wind rating, the Aptos panel excels very well in this area. All right, coming in at number three is the Qcells Qtron 440 watt module. Now, the Qtron 440 uses a 108 half cut cell design. So it's gonna be physically a little bit larger than a 120 half cell or a 60 cell form factor. Uh, and this is the first of what I would consider to be the high efficiency solar modules. You can see here with the module efficiency at 22.5%. And when we talk about module efficiency, what we're talking about is what percentage of sunlight that hits the surface of the solar module, what percentage of that sunlight is successfully captured and converted 
into usable electricity. Uh, you know, the, the vast majority of the sunlight that hits the module actually is not converted. Uh, a lot of it gets reflected away. Some of it passes straight through the module. Uh, and also some energy is lost as heat in the conversion process. But as of this recording, I would say anything that's over 22% module efficiency, I would consider that a high efficiency solar module. Uh, and of course the Q-Cell solar module is made in USA. So this is gonna be fully domestic content compliant for those of you where that's gonna be a consideration on your project. Uh, in fact, I had a chance to tour the factory down in Dalton, Georgia, where these solar modules are manufactured. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen our previous video on how solar panels are made, go back and watch the previous video where I show you a little bit of inside that facility. I should also mention that Q-Cells is pretty much number one market share for solar modules in the US, both on the residential side and I, I believe on the commercial side now too. So there's a good chance if you're having solar panels installed on your home in the US, you're gonna have Q-Cell solar modules installed. Overall, a very solid option. This is actually the brand that I used when I installed my last whole home solar power system back in Virginia. So this is the Q-Cell's Q-Tron 440. All right, coming in at number two is the Silfab Prime 440 watt solar module. Now, the Silfab Prime is also a made in USA solar module coming in at that same 440 watt price point but slightly beating out Q-cells in the area of module efficiency. So the Silfab Prime 440 right now is achieving 22.6% module efficiency, so 0.1% higher here. Now the Silfab Prime module also has a slightly lower temperature coefficient. Now when we talk about temperature coefficient, so solar panels, when, they, when they're ha having to operate at extreme high temperatures, they lose a small percentage of their performance for each degree above the ideal temperature. Uh, when solar panels are tested, they're typically tested at, at 25 degrees Celsius, which is considered sort of the, the baseline. And then for each degree Celsius above that baseline, they lose a certain percentage of their performance. So a solar module that has a low temperature coefficient means that it's going to produce more total energy over the lifetime of that solar panel, especially when it has to operate in extreme high heat conditions. So the Silfab panel slightly beats out Q-cells in this area, uh, and they have a slightly longer warranty. So the, the Silfab warranty now goes out to 30 years, and the panel is guaranteed to produce at least 91% of its initial rated power in year 25, and at least 89% of initial rated power out in year 30. Uh, also, I, although I can't give specific pricing, in my experience using Silfab in the past, it tends to be a very cost competitive product, especially if you're buying in pallet quantities or larger. So I think you're gonna see a lot more of this solar module this year, the Silfab Prime 440. Today's video is brought to you by Solax. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the new Solax ESS. Solax gives you total control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, whole house backup, intelligent load control, and energy management seamlessly integrated on a single platform. Solax uses a modular stackable architecture so the installation can be completed by only two technicians with no special lift equipment required. So if you'd like to learn more information, go directly to the Solax website or click the link in the description below so you can get in touch with an installer or a distributor right away. And finally, coming back in at number one is the REC Alpha Pure RX. As of this recording, the Alpha Pure RX is available in up to 470 watts per module. Uh, and of course, the REC Alpha series is based on heterojunction technology. Now, what is heterojunction technology? Uh, basically, it means that the solar cells are built using a combination of crystalline silicon and amorphous silicon or thin film silicon. And the result is a solar cell that aesthetically looks much nicer and operates at a higher efficiency, which you can see evident here in the module efficiency at 22.6%. Now, of course, the other thing we always expect from the REC Alpha series is the ultra low temperature coefficient. So again, for those of you who live in areas where you can experience extreme high temperatures on the rooftop, uh, think areas like Arizona, New Mexico, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. You know, these places, it's very easy to have rooftop temperatures of 150 degrees Fahrenheit or more. And so using a solar panel that has a very low temperature coefficient at only 0.24% per degree Celsius means that you're going to just get more total energy harvest over the lifetime of that system. 
So make sure you, you, you consider all the factors here. All watts are not created equal when it comes to solar panels. You wanna look at temperature coefficient. And the other thing you wanna look at is the degradation rate. Uh, and of course, that's another area where the REC Alpha Series always performs very well is in that area of the degradation rate where a standard solar panel could lose up to, up to a half a percent of its power output per year as the solar panel ages. The REC Alpha Pure RX is guaranteed to only lose no more than a quarter of a percent of its power output per year, which means that even out in year 25, which is the terminal year of the warranty, the solar module is still guaranteed to produce at least 92% of its initial rated power. So again, all of that goes to getting more total energy over the entire 25 or 30 year life of the system. Now, one other thing that sets REC apart is the ProTrust warranty. And what the ProTrust warranty is, not only does it cover the, the solar panel mechanical characteristics, it guarantees the power output for 25 years, but it also guarantees labor as well. So in the event that you have a solar panel that goes bad, and for whatever reason, if the contractor that did the installation is not available to go out there and replace the panel for you, REC will pay for another technician to go out and replace the defective panel at their own expense. So it's really giving you just an extra layer of protection, especially important in this environment where we've seen so many solar contractor business failures, REC has you covered for 25 years on the ProTrust warranty. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen our previous video where we got a hands-on walkthrough uh, of this solar module with George McClellan, uh, the engineer from REC, go back and watch the previous video where we can walk you through that in more detail. So folks, this has been the updated top five best solar panel lineup here in 2025. As always, if you're getting good value from the videos you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your recommendations so you can stay up to date with everything. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar power and battery options for your home, if you need to get a price quote for the REC panels or, or any of the top panels, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below here. You can set up a call with one of our experts or just use the free online calculator tool to see how much solar and battery storage cost in your area. Uh, and by the way, if you're trying to get a solar system installed this year before the residential tax credit expires, now really is the time you need to move right now because it's going to take a couple of months to get through the process of permitting and paperwork before you can have your system activated. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.